You don't want to read too much into the first red and white game in a summer camp, but for these young players, it is an opportunity to make an impression. Who do you stood out in this game? Gore, two first-round picks from the 0-9 entry draft. Number one, Louis LeBlanc, first-round pick of the Montreal Canadiens in the United States Hockey League last year, will go to Harvard University this year. He was great with the puck. He blocked shots, he made his teammates better, but he attacked with speed, and he showed a better comfort level as the first red and white game went along. Dylan Olson, a defenseman from the Camrose Kodiaks, a first-round pick of the Chicago Blackhawks, he was the safest defenseman in the game. He made excellent decisions in the neutral zone. He moved the puck well. He eliminated his men down low by being physical. He blocked shots again. He really cleared the crease well, and he knew when to jump in the rush. So those two players in particular really stood out. Now, for the sixth consecutive year, Canada will not have a returning goaltender with the national junior team. The competition is wide open. Jake Allen, we think, goes in as the front runner. How is he tonight? I thought he was excellent. You know, Jake Allen looked calm, cool, and collected. He's got more international experience than any of the other goaltenders, and you could see that. He's pick of the St. Louis Blues, so he knows where he is kind of in the pecking order right now. But in the shootout, I think, is where he really stood out the brightest and the most amongst the goaltenders. He was excellent. He didn't give up a chance on three chances against. And where he was really solid, he makes himself look big. He's got an aggressive stick, good catching glove, and he's positionally very sound. However, we think back to 2006, Justin Pogge, not invited to the summer camp, winds up being Canada's starter. It is a wide-open competition for the goaltending spot. For Pierre Maguire, I'm Gord Miller in Saskatoon.